family flux. <laughs> Nobody told me that heroin was addictive. Hi, I'm Dan Q, and this is my review of Godzilla Huntley's family vlog, episode 9. In this review, I'd like to share with you a game that I've come up with to play while watching the family vlog. You can play along at home, or if you're not at home, you can play along there too. It's a drinking game, and the idea is that you drink every time one of the following things happens. The Sunday dinner on a Wednesday roll. The family does something which belongs to a particular day on the wrong day. The three word review rule. The family gives three word reviews. Drink again for each member of the family that can't count to three. The health and injury rule. Whenever a member of the family becomes unwell or injures themselves or talks about a previous health issue or injury, drink the Are You There Godzilla? It's Me Zara rule. Drink every time Godzilla and Zara have a philosophical conversation drinking rule. Whenever a family member drinks, or makes reference to drinking, drink. The dancing in the car rule. Whenever family members are seen to dance or sing in the car, drink. Double if it's dubstep. The rules are still under construction. I'm sure we'll find more tropes in the family's behaviour to apply later on. So let's get started with this week's episode. Wednesday cinema on a Sunday? Suck again. What? No, I don't because I, I wish that the, like every time Mum got in the car, she just slipped into like a coma. <laughs> a coma counts. I like the fact that Sarah's boyfriend Richard just takes the fact that her mother is in a coma and sitting in the front seat of the car as being completely normal. In the coma. <laughs> the first of the three word reviews in this episode is for Kickass 2. Apparently Paul's ripped. <laughs> Here's my three word review for Andes Peaks Sauvignon Blanc, crisp, fruity, pleasant. <laughs> I honestly don't know why Zara works in McDonald's rather than being a professional singer. Zara and Godzilla have the first of their philosophical conversations of this episode. If you'd be an angel or a demon, what would you be? Demon. And then swiftly move on to a second. If you could have any wish come true, but every time you wanted to do it, a baby dies. How many wishes would you make knowing that that was true? I wish I had a chocolate bar. Unfortunately, for those of you drinking spirits, the family goes and sees a second film this week. We've oh, just yeah. been to see Mortal Instruments, That's City good. of Bones. Gash, gash, gash. <laughs> Cassie? Uh, disappointed. <laughs> Shit. Thin. People spotted then. What? Three word reviews three got words. fucked up. All right, is it three words? No, no, right. no. Listen skinny up. accents and skinny. And by accents, so I don't mean that they're good. I mean that the shit. So that's my three word review. <laughs> skinny accents and skull. Another feature of this particular episode is that Sarah and Richard go to Leeds, and Andy goes somewhere. And as a result, Godzilla and her mother are left alone to be some kind of crazy bitches. We are just going to be two wild crazy bitches. I don't know if you noticed this, we haven't turned into wild crazy bitches yet. And I yeah. can feel it is going to happen. Which pans out exactly as exciting as you might expect. You've done a bad thing really, because you're relatively short. You could have gone out with an average size guy, but you took a tall guy, and now there's a tall girl out there. He's having to like make do. I don't think Godzilla is seeing the big picture. Just because her mother dated a tall guy, did not take him out of the fucking pool. The fucking pool. That sounds like the least hygienic swingers party ever. For me, the second most exciting part of this episode is the bit at which Godzilla agrees that her mother can set her up on a blind date. I'll do the first um, 
preliminary interviews and decide if I think they're suitable and clean and healthy and have the right kind of attitude. Right. Obviously, I'll show them a picture of you. Yeah, yeah. This, I think, has incredible potential for future vlogs. But my favourite part of the entire episode is this. Hello, Tikin. That one just wants to get back on the mum now. I've had cold, enough of this. Cold, cold, cold. Well, these two are definitely the same. I think these are the banties. They must be. Uh, but these two look similar to me as well. These two guys. Mm. I'm sure I got. The, I'm sure I got two bants, and the rest were different. So. Bearing in mind that I've just done two reviews back to back with the drinking rules, twice because I forgot to turn the camera on for the second one, review number nine. I give this episode a Tesco van. I'm afraid that's all I can manage. Let's look at some chickens again. They were cute. I haven't lifted her at all. Is there somebody under there you'd like us to meet? <laughs> oh, oh hang on. Me? All five? Are they all flash hatched? Yes. Is there a lavender one? Almost certainly. Oh my god, they've all come out of the city. Oh, we, I, haven't, I haven't checked over the last couple of days. Hello, Tikin. That one just wants to get back on the mum now. I've had cold, enough of this. Cold, cold, cold. <laughs> well, these two are definitely the same. I think these are the banties. They must be. Uh, but these two look similar to me as well.